Good Sunday evening, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. A quiet evening so far. Here's really hoping it stays that way because later on tonight, we may be looking for the possibility of some more strong thunderstorms heading our direction. We're watching a lot of activity just south of the News Channel 3 viewing area. And just a few minutes before we started here, the Storm Prediction Center, which is the agency responsible for issuing the watches, just put another one on the maps for portions of Mississippi. We'll show that one to you coming up right now. Again, about the time we're recording this and netcasting to you on Sunday evening. Again, we do not have any active watches or warnings in the Mid-South either, and precious little in the way of damage has been reported across the Mid-South for the early evening hours for tonight, so that's good news. And from last night, there really just wasn't all that much out there, so good news there. Coming up in just a bit, we'll take a look into the work week, uh, again, with severe weather possible soon. Uh, into the portions of the Mid-South. We will do our best to, again, hop around and give you more details as to what's going on. Uh, if we get any new warnings coming up here in northern Mississippi, we may have to uh, hop off here and go to live coverage. Uh, again, the Academy of Country Music Awards, if I'm not mistaken, is on tonight. Uh, so we'll try to keep the interruptions to a minimum. But once again, it's going to be a necessary thing if there's a severe weather situation out there. Drop your locations and your weather reports. If you got temperature, rain gauge amounts, wind speed direction, uh, anything like that, damage reports from last night, uh, anything like that, please drop them into the comments section. And again, please uh, give us an idea of an update as to what's going on with your weather situation out there. And thank you very much for dropping on through and giving us an idea as to what's going on and for watching us here at News Channel 3 online as we bring you up to date as to what's going on. Rest of the evening, again, pretty much almost identical to what we saw last night, getting again the possibility of some scattered showers and thunderstorms all the way throughout the rest of the evening. And again, temperatures back in the lower 60s with winds southerly at about 5 to 10. So that's actually going to help to keep the temperatures up by just a little bit. Not by much, but in just a little while anyway. Should be seeing again some fairly calm conditions for now. But overnight and a couple more waves of these thunderstorms coming through as we go into tomorrow. Right now, Storm Tracker 3S radar at just about 7 minutes past 8 o'clock. We're looking again at light scattered showers drifting across Shelby County and the Memphis metro area. We're watching down to the south of us where we do have again a new severe thunderstorm watch that has just been issued. Actually, that's old data right there. So let me get this taken care of real quick. And there we go. That's the new information that we have again. The News Channel 3 viewing area, northern Mississippi right up through here, east Arkansas, west Tennessee, and Memphis right there in the middle. Uh, new severe thunderstorm watch going all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico. And we do have numerous severe thunderstorm warnings west and southwest of Jackson, uh, down into Louisiana, close to around uh, New Orleans, where we do have a couple of tornado warnings right around Lake Pontchartrain and into around eastern Louisiana for tonight. So all this is going to continue to lift its way northward into the course of the next couple of hours. Now, so far, the Storm Prediction Center, again, which issues these watches, have not done anything for the Mid-South. That's relatively good news for the time being. Usually they will put out information in the form of these discussions that we see that will have a type of polygon drawn on the screen and will show that this will be an area that may or may not see the potential of some severe weather. And right now, we just don't have that. We haven't seen anything like that all hour in the last couple of hours as well and to the evening hours. So that's, again, going to be something we're going to be watching now. Currently in the Mid-South, things are decently quiet. If you're down around the Clarksdale area, you are seeing, again, uh, some thunderstorms taking place here. Those are moving up toward the Tunica area, and we'll continue to do that throughout the rest of the evening. Good evening to everybody uh, checking in to the Mid-South area for tonight and points beyond. Glad to have you online and asking the questions. My own uh, beautiful wife, Melissa Onik, checking in from House Onik tonight. I uh, hope all the dogs are calm and pleasant there uh, for this evening. So thanks for checking in there. And everybody else, uh, Michelle Dozier, welcome to the show as well. Friend of my wife's and everybody else who's checking in for tonight, thank you very much for uh, dropping on by. More of this activity coming up uh, into the evening hours. And again, looking back to the south and west of the Memphis metro area, which is right up here, looking down into the delta from Clarksdale to Greenville, that's where we're seeing a lot more lightning taking place. But... We're not getting anything at this time uh, indicating anything in the way of severe weather. Now, there are 
counties here under that brand new severe thunderstorm watch that are just showing again the watch, but we're not getting any warnings. But as these lift northward, they're going into less of an environment where they may be stoked to be sticking around for a while. So good news on that is the farther north they go, the possibility of them becoming severe becomes a little bit less over time. We'll see how well that occurs again and keeps on going here uh, over the course of the rest of the evening. So stay with us and we'll have more details on that. Extending the radar out by just a little bit. Again, lots of rain across southern Arkansas, south of I-40 and lightning going right on down the Mississippi Valley. All that lifting its way to the north-northeast at about 35 miles per hour. So a lot of what we've got coming up here is where we're going to be seeing more thunderstorms lifting into the mid-south. So Clarksdale, uh, right south of Tunica, you're getting that rainfall. Crenshaw back to the west of I-55. Not that much in Oxford right now, but more of these thunderstorms east of I-55 could make their way that direction. And then all this mess could be making its way into the I-40 corridor as we go into the course of the next couple of hours or so, depending on how long this decides to stick around. Now, again, hopefully no watches. We don't want any severe weather, but we may see stuff like that out there. Uh, depending on how things go. So keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for the latest on that. And again, this severe thunderstorm watch out there will continue until 11 o'clock tonight, just south of the News Channel 3 viewing area. Quick check of temperatures out there from the weather bug system out into and around the area. Going to be seeing, again, some more chances of rainfall out there. Uh, Scott Truitt, yes, yeah, she does give me a hard time, but uh, it's all done in love and professionalism. So uh, stops by every once in a while to help me out on here and to make certain I keep my wits about me. So thank you very much uh, for that. Looking again at some pretty mild numbers, decently cool out there. Jacket, maybe if you're heading out between showers for a bit of a stroll or a jog for this evening. But once again, going to be looking at the possibility of more of this rain cooling things off into uh, later on tonight. Sherry Allen, Sunshine in Vegas. Thank you very much uh, for that one. I do appreciate uh, the reports on there for right now. Uh, everybody else, a few weather reports out there for now. Don't see rain in Blytheville. Victor Victoria Taylor, it'll be on the way for a little bit later on for right now. Uh, Martha Bennett Mace, North Haven, without power all day. Uh, hopefully that'll be t uh, changed around pretty soon. Uh, we'll have to see about MLGW if they've got some updates on that going on. Jessica Braden, any tornadoes tonight? It's possible. Doesn't look entirely likely at this time, but it is still a possibility out there. We'll take a look at the severe weather threats. Brand new and updated from the Storm Prediction Center coming up here in just a little bit. Through about midnight, that mass of showers and thunderstorms heads up this direction and continues to make its way to the north, northeast at about maybe 10 to or about 35 miles per hour. More possibilities past News Channel 3 at 10 of giving more showers and thunderstorms out there. And they will be sticking around as we go into very early tomorrow morning. So we will be seeing, again, commute time could be kind of sloppy, a little bit of extra time to get going just to be on the safe side out there. So definitely want to continue that uh, to make certain, again, what's going on. Everybody asking about uh, different locations, what's going to be happening out there. Uh, for right now, again, watching the area, West Tennessee here, North Mississippi here, East Arkansas here, and Memphis right in the middle. We're not trying to shuffle off your requests for forecast information, but if we get down to doing a forecast for everybody, uh, we'll never get this netcast done because we'll have to individually do forecasts for everybody out there. So in general, this is what we're going to be looking at through tomorrow morning. So if you have plans for getting off of school or making certain you're on your way to work, a little bit of extra time would be a very good idea. So please keep that in mind. Keep it tuned to News Channel 3. Corey Ventura will have more on time saver traffic bright and early in the morning. Rest of the day, again, more chances of showers and thunderstorms coming on through. And that'll be throughout the rest of the day. We'll finally begin to see the possibility of showers leaving the Mid-South as we get into and around areas of Monday evening and then clearing out for the most part as we go into Tuesday. So yes, we're almost done with the rainfall for now, so good news on that. Here's some more good news uh, from the Storm Prediction Center. We did see an increase in the possibility of thunderstorms down to our south with, again, some severe weather taking place. The enhanced risk for severe weather uh, looks to be gone for the time being, so very good news on that. And then for now, that slight risk category still remains into the area. So for areas across much of the southern part of the viewing area, roughly from I-40 and points southward, that's where we're seeing the potential of, again, severe weather uh, into and around the area for right now. 
Uh, my own wife checking in, again, a very good point, loving the fact that the pollen is getting out of here. was a lot less today, but unfortunately the pollen is going to be uh, heading upwards again in the course of the next couple of days. So hopefully you got your uh, Kleenex and everything else ready to go because we're going to be looking at some uh, pretty sneezy conditions out there, it looks like, by about week's end. Now, good news for now. Again, less of a chance of severe weather, but the Storm Prediction Center keeps that threat in here, so we may see a late night tonight watching those storms moving up from the Gulf of Mexico. Now, tomorrow the threat, the main threat, shifts over to the east of us, but we still have into the early morning hours tomorrow that marginal threat very close to the area and generic thunderstorms elsewhere uh, into the Mid-South area. So we could be seeing the possibility of some more areas of showers and thunderstorms into tomorrow, and some of those early tomorrow morning might be on the stronger side. So Todd Demers will have more on your forecast coming up uh, bright and early in the morning. So again, going to be seeing some possibly stormy conditions out there for right now. Grady Bennett, 66, at St. Francis Hospital in Bartlett. Hope you're there for a good reason. If not, hope you get well soon. Thanks a lot for checking in there. Uh, Dennis Jones from Hickory Hill, welcome to the show. Thanks for popping on through tonight. Do appreciate it. Uh, Victoria Taylor, good way to think about it. April showers bring May flowers. Well, we're hoping for some of that out there anyway. Definitely a lot of showers for those flowers with temperatures back in the mid-70s and more chances of showers and thunderstorms throughout the rest of the day. For Tuesday, temperatures back in the mid-upper 70s and clearing skies on Tuesday. So we'll get rid of the rainfall and the clouds. That'll bring back the sunshine and hopefully your air conditioning system is tuned up and ready to go because we're right around the corner from those very warm temperatures. 80s as we head toward Wednesday. And then afterwards, it's not exactly an Arctic blast, but as we go toward the weekend, temperatures are going to take a bit of a tumble into the mid-60s. That's pretty cool for mid to late April. And numbers will also include the possibility of, yes, some more scattered showers and thunderstorms out there. Uh, the good news is we've got a good surplus of precipitation, so we don't see a lot of drought going on. And we also don't see much in the way of wildfire or grass fire danger, so very good news on that for the time being. Afterwards, we warm back up again, close to normal, as we head into the later portions of the middle to end part of April, especially between Palm Sunday and Easter. If you're celebrating those holidays, the rest of that week so far does look pretty good, so good news on that. Hopefully, Easter will turn out to be uh, just as dry. Palm Sunday, unfortunately, looks like we may see the potential of some showers and thunderstorms out there. So any palm processionals from uh, the churches might be a little wet or even stormy. So we'll keep you updated on that over the course of the next uh, several days. Belinda Taylor from South Haven, thank you very much for checking in. Rain in Crenshaw coming down hard. Phyllis Sanford, thank you very much for that one. And uh, Linda Hatchett, farther away than usual uh, from a lot of our check-ins tonight. McAllen, Texas, thank you very much uh, for checking in on there for tonight and everybody else who's checking in across the area. Don't forget to sign up for Weather Call. This is one more way that you can be prepared for what's going on with weather. Do not, when severe weather heads around the area, do not depend on tornado sirens to let you know what's going on. You've got to have multiple ways to get warnings. If you're waiting on the tornado sirens, remember you might have grown up and heard the tornado sirens very clearly, but houses today are a lot better constructed, a lot more, I guess, more well-constructed possibly, more insulation, better materials, tighter construction to keep air from leaking out. So it's harder to hear those sirens into the overnight period, especially when you're dead asleep. So it's something to have something else out there, including this device which you carry around with you to get push alerts from the National Weather Service. You can also get your weather radio, get some batteries made for that. Keep your cell phone charged just in case the power goes out. As some of you have said for tonight, that again, your power is still out from the storms that came through last night into Arkansas. Tim and Jim will call you when severe weather threatens. So again, sign up for today at WREG.com and click on weather for more information on that. I'll have more information on the forecast with Bob and Josh tomorrow morning on AM 730 and 1600 on Talkback Live Monday through Thursday at 6 to 8 a.m. I'm going to skip back here by just a few and go back to our radar for just a moment because we had uh, some new information from the Storm Prediction Center coming on through. Again, if you're just tuning in and joining us, uh, time is, again, just about 8.19. Uh, if you're tuning in later on this evening, if you're watching this like well after midnight, 
as a replay. Please get the information updated. Don't depend on what I'm telling you here uh, for the time being. Immediately get some updated information uh, from the National Weather Service or News Channel 3 uh, because, again, you might be watching this at a different time out there. New severe thunderstorm watch was just issued before we came on with this netcast for parts of middle Mississippi along the I-55 corridor. So again, Jackson back up toward Yazoo City and all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico. This is in effect not until 10 o'clock, but until 11 o'clock tonight. And again, we're watching these thunderstorms getting a little bit closer to the Mid-South area. So far, it looks like most of them have diminished by a little bit, but some of these in southeastern Arkansas, right around the Delta, moving up the river, are going to be doing a good job of sticking together. All these things are moving into an environment that is less favorable for the development of thunderstorms. Unfortunately, we can't take that risk and just say, oh, well, everything's done and we don't have to worry about it, so we have to kind of keep an eye on what's coming up for this evening. So you're probably going to hear overnight northern Mississippi, southeast Arkansas first, Helena, West Helena, Oxford, Tupelo in that line, and then north of there as we go into overnight. So a few rumbles of thunder out there. I would not be surprised to hear that. And unfortunately, we cannot rule out the possibility of, again, some storms moving on through that could be uh, on the strong to severe side out there. So again, looking at some pretty uh, nasty conditions down south, not that much taking place at this time, so definitely some good news uh, on that. Please remember, again, with rain and thunderstorms around the Mid-South tomorrow morning, you're going to want to be updated before you head out the door for school, work, wherever you're going. So Todd Demers will have your forecast starting bright and early at 4.30. And, of course, Corey Ventura will have a lot more on time saver traffic, and that'll be coming up again starting at 4.30 very early tomorrow morning to get you up and going and to make certain the kids go heading for the school bus know what to expect. It's a good bet that the kids are going to need some rain protection as we go into tomorrow, so please keep that in mind. We'll try to be on here in about a half an hour on my Facebook, Twitter, and Periscope pages with a late edition update and, of course, with the Academy of Country Music Awards going on. We might be a little bit late tonight, so stay tuned for the late edition of News Channel 3 at 10, and I'll have an update on the forecast there. And, of course, we'll be keeping a very close eye on these storms as they start to move in this area. If a watch is issued, we'll let you know about that on air and online as possible as well. Thanks to everybody for the comments out there. Thanks to everybody again for checking in uh, into the area for this evening. And again, stay safe by having multiple ways of getting weather information out there. Our app, weather radio, push alerts on your phone. Don't rely on just the tornado sirens. That again could be a fatal mistake. Just like driving through flooded water. Don't ever do that. Turn around. Don't drown. More coming up tonight at 10 and, of course, tomorrow morning on Daybreak. Thanks for joining us. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. Stick around for a lot more with News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the weekend.